Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. It's Sunday the 22nd of August 2020. I am in Blantyre and I am just here at the newly reopened David Livingston Birthplace Museum. Let's go have a look inside shall we? And welcome to another vlog. So I'm here at the top floor, which is where we start with the museum. Um, we'll see what's changed, although it's been about 10 years since I was last year, so we'll see. So I was in the room that the Livingstons apparently lived in um, and talking about the fact that his father was a tea merchant, um, sold tea and they were a bit more well to do than most. He didn't live here all his life and this was part of a mill complex, there was 24 people lived in this building initially. Um, so it was a quite hard, a uh, lot of people really. This is one room, nine, seven people all living in that one room. It's the case for most of the, the time of this time in, in history, really. Um, but he studied at Anderson, uh, Anderson Anderstonian College in Glasgow, became a missionary through the London Missionaries, and then travelled obviously to Africa um, as one of his first um, bits and pieces. And obviously this is where Africa comes in quite a bit with Livingston is his history with Africa, his association with it. Um, and maybe see more of that as we go through the exhibition.
these these tableaus that we're looking at now where they're in the museum in a different place before and basically they're all against the one wall and you used to press the button and it will light up and show these displays so it's nice they've still kept them but they're now properly fully lit in this area and they show Livingston's life as a lone explorer which isn't strictly true but that's what they're supposed to represent Beautiful, and they're beautiful tableaus. Certainly worth their place in the museum. So there we are, the David Livingston Center. Um, I remember going to it as a child and obviously seeing it in school a couple of times went about 10 years ago previously to this um, it's interesting going through it and seeing the life of this man who went out and tried to explore investigate Africa but as a missionary but it was all part of the colonization and there's kind of like a dirty side to it which is interesting that they don't shy away from it they do mention it at parts throughout the exhibition and this may be where he was born. It wasn't where he died. He died in Africa. But overall, it's an interesting exhibition. And it's only just opened again at the time of recording. Three weeks ago. So it was the end of July it opened. I'm coming here mid-August. Um, so it's certainly worth a visit if you can. Um, you have to book in advance. Like most of these places post-Covid. Um, do so. Have a bit of fun. Go and explore it. Have a look. There's a lot of interactive exhibition, exhibitions. But the tableau, which is the big fun bit at the end for all the kids because you just press the button and the tableau would light up is there now in a slightly different configuration they're all lit up they're beautifully carved sculptures that were made in the 20s and 30s that's the highlight for me i think is the tableaus of the museum but there's lots to it this isn't the only video about david livingston there is another video this month six facts on the man so hopefully you can join me for that but that's it for now thanks guys for watching as always if you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag Team Stockter. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the channel as a whole, so you know when a new video comes out. General, a new video every Sunday at 4pm GMT, and I'll see you then. Until then, thanks guys, and I'll see you later.